everyone how are you all doing i'm victoria and i'm here to bring you your october's 2021 tarot card reading from those lovely people at asktheanswer.com so let's get on with your reading for today today's three decks i'd like you to choose from are the witch's tarot the tattoo tarot and the chakra wisdom tarot so this deck will be reading one reading two and reading three what i ask you to do is choose from your an intuition and if you are attracted to more than one pile you're very welcome to read that pile as well or listen to that pile as well so i will give you a few quiet moments now to choose your pile of cards for october 2021's what's coming up tarot card reading Hello there, welcome back to your pile of cards. Those of you who chose reading number one for October 2021's reading, what's coming up for you this upcoming month? Let's give these cards a little shuffle and have a look what is in store for you. We have the moon in reverse that flipped out the deck then. Okay, we have the moon in reverse that flipped out the deck then. We have the strength card in reverse, the eight of pentacles here. We have the knight of pentacles. We have this page of swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles as well. Okay, work may be very much focused for you right now. It's like if you have any um, work or job opportunities that are upcoming, or if you're thinking of changing jobs or um, investing, what I can feel as well is that some of you out there may be um, quite um, investing if you like crafts and things like that and you're good making things, perhaps you can make some money from that also. This is a good time to do that, by the way. Um, I think October 2021 is that kind of reading for you that you've picked. OK, pay particular attention to any dreams that seem vivid right now, because when the moon's in reverse like that, it's often a message to so if you have some dreams that might be revealing messages to you. Um, so pay particular attention to anything that you see in dreams during the month. We do have a strength card that's in reverse. OK, so I'm wondering with the eight of pentacles and this knight of pentacles next to it, whether some of you may be frightened to change jobs or frightened to improve yourself in a career or whether you're scared to take that job opportunity that possibly may come up for you or the chance of improving yourself um some of you might um some of you might be in for some kind of pay rise as well but i'm saying that because i think you possibly have worked for it and um, the eight of pentacles is all about working for what you for what you want to achieve and what you have i feel like you've worked really hard for recognition um in work there may be some pay rises or an opportunity to earn some extra money for you here as well what i'm feeling though is if those job opportunities or the chance to earn extra money arises we have this page of sorts here which tells me you need to get all the information that um all the information that you need to do that i mean don't go in not knowing anything about possibly the company you want to work for or if you're thinking of um doing your own business or starting like a craft project that could earn you some money make sure you get all do your homework first and get all the information that you need it looks like that this very work focused in october and um, yeah, I feel like if whatever project you're thinking of doing, actually, I feel like you need to get all this information, you need to get everything sorted, write everything down, make sure you get everything in place before you embark on any new projects to make extra money or a chance to make money here. Um, there may be someone around you right now who's reliable that you can rely on. Um, maybe possible friend. 
or even a work colleague actually with these pentacles energies but it's somebody that's around who has will be patient in helping you with any projects or anything you need um i think there's an opportunity here to do something for yourself in october um, if it's not work related, it's definitely something that's going to make you probably extra some some extra funds or even a pay rise or something that's going to be beneficial for you to move forward for the rest of the year, going into the new year possibly as well. Um, make sure you get everything sorted though, because we do have a three of pentacles in reverse here, which tells me that if you feel like you haven't been supported or if you feel like... Um, people haven't jumped on board with your ideas i feel like they possibly might or one person will if that makes sense there but yes do your homework with any projects that you're coming up with if you have those ideas in your head for something that you want to build make sure you do you do all your homework get all your facts right make sure you have people on your side as well the ones that possibly don't support you maybe you don't have to listen to them but yeah being the moon in reverse as well always pay particular attention to your dreams it's like you now know at the beginning of the month especially um there, there's this opportunity that you may have to take to better yourself but the strength card in reverse might mean that you're scared to take it or you're scared things are going to change or you're scared that you may not be able to cope but i think that you will as long as you have people on board to support you and you do all your homework okay i will get a moon card here as well for you to see what else is in store for you we have <laughs> what do you need to release waning moon I feel like with this card, you, those of you who are holding on to any negative energy, anything that holds you back in moving forward, possibly need to release that now. I feel like that um, possibly it could be your own fears that are talking to you, um, holding you back from moving forward. I feel like the beginning of the month, possibly, you could see this um you'll get a sort of a clarity on what's going to happen that month that possibly that you can move forward it's like things may become clearer where in the last possibly few months you've you've held back or held yourself back or stopped yourself from moving forward for what you want to do so this is a good time to start that process you know release any negative energy and um yeah get those um those creative juices flowing this month coming up get one of these angel cards for you as well to see what angel messages you have now Let's see what the angels want you to know right now So we have the card of Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath or pedicure. So basically do a little bit of self-care and treat yourself a little bit. Okay, that's the card I have for you today. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt, bath or a pedicure. So treat yourself there. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me today. That's your reading for October 2021 coming up. Thank you so much and I shall see you all soon. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Hello there, welcome back to your reading for those of you who chose reading number two today for October 2021. What's coming up for you? What's in store for you? Ooh, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Is there a card behind that? Oh, and a card behind that too. And the Page of Swords as well. We 
we have the Knight of Swords as well. The Knight of Queens or the Knight of Pentacles. The now we've got a lot. Of, <laughs> you've got the Page of Cups in Reverse. We've got a lot of knights and pages here, and the Eight of Cups in Reverse also. Okay. Okay. What I'm seeing here is we have. Um, I'm feeling like possibly you have maybe have been stopped from doing what you've wanted to do in recent months um you may have had opportunities that haven't arisen opportunities that have um opportunities that haven't materialized so i feel like something at times has stopped you from moving forward or possibly not through your own fault things have sort of come to standstills or delayed that's what I'm feeling here. We get a lot of knights. Usually when the knights the right way are up, they usually move forward. But when they're reversed, things get set back. And you've got two of them there. You do have a page of cups in reverse and an ace of cups in reverse, which tells me that sometimes you've not been able to rely on people or they've let you down. Um, I think that you want, it, you want to know more um, about what lies ahead for you. Um, with that page of swords there as well because usually the page of swords is very curious is um likes to know what's going on and likes to tell the truth it likes people to tell the truth around them so i feel like you'll be moving on from that um that period of time where you haven't felt totally together if that makes sense we have the eight of cups in reverse this is telling me that you're going to get back to your old self okay if any if you have um someone possibly that you haven't heard from for a while they may be coming back into your energies and into your life but um with the eight of cups reverse often it comes out when you need uh, you learn lessons from past things or past things that have happened and then you start again so i'm wondering if there's going to be a new phase in your life for you to move forward sort of clearly and easy and more clear and things are going to progress a bit better um coming up for you in the coming months possibly i'm feeling that things haven't been as straightforward for you i'm feeling like now is the opportunity in october to start to take those chances or make those plans in place because i feel like your best opportunities are coming up in the next three months after the when you know the, from the beginning of october onwards um it might be that you have to clear out some negativity or some outdated thinking for yourself to do that, to move forward with more confidence. I think you can do it because we have a page of swords here and the page of swords is curious and wants to do things and wants to know what's going on and is curious about what's coming up for them. So there's going to be less of that holding back energy and less of that um things being delayed and things not working out and more more moving forward it may start slowly at the beginning of the month but then i think it will start to take off for you there but i think that possibly you have to sort of let yourself do that by releasing anything that's negative that's holding you back okay we'll get these moon cards here emotions are running high i think you might have two here okay confidence is your key to success yes <laughs> confidence is your key to success new moon in leo um that could be relevant for you leos out there any moon in leo people so confidence is the key so that's why i said release any negative energy and gain that confidence to move forward i think that's will do you good to do as well because there's something that's going to take off from the beginning of the month onwards because you seem to be releasing anything negative and then good stuff is going to come even if it comes in slowly it's still a good start 
And then you have this emotions are running high because there's, we've got this super moon card that's come out here. With the super moon card here, usually something is about to happen for the better. So this is why I'm saying to you, you know, put those plans in place. Make sure everything's sorted out because good things are about to arrive for you. Um, we're seeing here, even if it's slowly, they're still arriving. Um, try and... Um, there may be a time when the super moon comes out where emotions do run high. So just be aware that if you like, you know, quick to quick to snap or quick to anger and things may just take off emotionally without you realizing it. Um, it's just because of this card, really, and the fact there's full moons around and, you know, a bit of madness in the air. But I'm feeling like, yeah, there isn't something good coming in for you, but there needs to be a letting go of the past. But also with that, learning some lessons as well and not sort of repeating the same mistakes. So, yeah, something good's coming in, even if it's slowly, but surely. Thank you so much for listening to me today. Um, oh, we've got your angel card then. I was going to pull an angel card out for you. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what the angels want to say for you. Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are the healer. You are a healer like me. Mm. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So that's the angel card for you for October 2021. Okay, thank you for listening to me today. It's been a pleasure to read for you all. Hope you enjoyed your readings and take care. Bye bye. Hello, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number three for your October 2021. What's coming up for you? Let's shuffle the cards and see what's coming up for you. We have one flying out all there. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Cu Cups there. Let's have a look at the rest. We have the King of Swords. And the Four of Wands, the Queen of Coins or Queen of Pentacles. We have the Hanged Man or the Hanged Woman in this deck. And we have the World. Okay, basically, I'm seeing that there is some sort of something good that's happening here. We do have a... Knight of Cups reverse, King of Swords, Four of Wands. So I feel like something is like an intentional thing that's going to happen. So this, I'm feeling like this could be anything from a celebration of some kind that people have been planning, but there's plans to be put in place for something good to happen. Um, if it's not a celebration, that is. But I'm feeling also with this reading that not everybody is jumping on board with your ideas. Um, I think you want to move forward and be happy, Cele have celebrations. For those of you, there's definitely a celebration coming up. It could be a birthday, um, wedding, christening. There's something good that's happening here, maybe with your family, because we have a four of wands here. Um, four of wands, often a card of marriage as well. Just thought I'd say, put that out there. Um, we have a queen of coins and a knight of cups. So you may have some people out there who might be possibly a little bit envious of your good fortune or somebody who's maybe, look, you know, pulling a bit of a moody face um, around you. I think that's not going to bother you with a king of swords around. It's like you've got enough people on your side to back you up, basically. Um, sacrifices may have to be made here, okay? I think you may have to ignore negativity or no, ignore negative people around you. Um, whenever the hanged man comes out, the hanged woman in this case with this card, it's like the sacrifices that may be made. You might have to see 
the people that are not supporting you in a different light or in a different way. You may have to just distance yourself from them because I think there's good opportunities coming for you up here. Um, there's a chance here to have something in your life with the world card for good. It's like, it's a good thing. It's something where some of you may think of traveling. Some of you, the card, the world card is a card of traveling and maybe even staying there and not coming back, you know? It's all about completion. So it's about completion, you completing your goal, goal, goal in life. It's learning lessons and completing what you want to do. Don't let anybody sort of talk you out of it or hold you back because they could just be a little bit envious, you know? Um, because they can't do the same. So there's good things coming for you, definitely. But you may have to see these things from a different perspective with the hanged woman with that card. It's like you may have to see things from other people's point of view or you need to maybe see people. Not everyone's going to jump on board with ideas or not everyone's going to support you. But I feel like you know exactly what you're doing anyway, because... Um, You've done your homework, you've put everything in place and it looks like good things are coming in for you. Um, yeah, so don't let anyone hold you back for what you want to do because I think whatever it is you want to do is going to be successful. Um, I think you're, you can't be stopped. I think you're going to do it anyway, even if people are pulling faces and are jealousy and envious of your, of your situation. I think that you've got good energy around you to move forward here as well. coming up from the moon as I call it advice from the moon we have the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini so for the, really really significant for those Gemini's out there or even if you have the moon in Gemini but it's still your card as well if you're not Gemini's or Gemini influenced you have some good fortune coming up with this card some good opportunities um it might mean also with the full moon and gemini cards that there's opportunities for you out there for you to just grab and take i think this is a fortunate pile it's like it's like good luck pile to me and this is how it feels but i do feel that there may be of course people who are negative around you so you need to sort of let them go a little bit um don't listen to them basically if they're trying to hold you back um also with this card it's a card of when someone may flirt with you so this could be somebody who's might be a little bit flirty so pay particular attention to that you might be attracting people here as well somebody who maybe is very interested in you indeed it's a card of being a little bit on the flirty side or enjoying that little that little bit of excitement <laughs> okay i will get the angel on. i will pull you an angel card as well before we finish We have the card of Leela. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So yeah, that might be just give yourself some peace and quiet. Do some meditation there. Walk in the park. That's nature. <laughs> you know, get go on some green grass, I would say, to help just clear your mind and know what it is that you want in moving forward for the month of October. But I see that there's some good things coming up for you here. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me today. It's been a pleasure. And thank you and take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.